Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and today we're going to be talking about our own planet. But specifically I really wanted to talk about this unusual discovery that something weird is happening with the magnetosphere of our planet. In other words, let's talk about what's really happening, but more importantly how it's going to affect us, if at all. Welcome to What The Math. So in Universe Sandbox, this is kind of what the magnetosphere looks like. This is a very, very, very simplified model, basically showing you that our planet is constantly protected from the super dangerous and super highly energetic rays coming from the sun that you see right there. Now, the magnetosphere is very important. We actually believe that one of the reasons why life was able to evolve on the planet Earth was because it has magnetosphere. Here's the thing, though. We don't entirely understand how it's formed yet. We think we understand it, but it's not like we're certain about it. For the most part, um, mo modern scientists believe that it's something to do with the metallic material inside our planet. In other words, if I were to take a look at our beautiful planet um, Earth, and if I were to then look inside of our planet Earth, basically if I were to open it up, you would find something like this. That's our current understanding. And we have the inner core, outer core, and the mantle. And for the most part, all of this stuff here is metal. And this metal is also moving around. It's always churning. It's always sort of in motion. And this motion generates the magnetic field. That's our understanding as of today. Other planets have very different ways of generating a magnet magnetosphere. For example, both Saturn and Jupiter that actually have much, much stronger magnetosphere around them, as a matter of fact, Jupiter has the strongest in the solar system, um, may generate theirs differently because they don't really have the same composition on the inside. Their magnetosphere may actually form from the metallic hydrogen that's on the inside. But all of those are still kind of assumptions. We don't really know for sure. But I guess what's important though is that, well, despite all these other magnetospheres around other planets, ours is more important because it protects life. And it seems that in the last few decades we've been discovering something weird about it. Let me actually just show you a very simple picture that it's going to explain what's going on here. Um, but before I show you the picture, this is the simple model. This is what the more complex model looks like according to uh, NASA. Basically, this is the magnetosphere model uh, coming directly from the NASA website. And here you can see that um, it's for the most part uh, basically kind of like a very large magnet uh, with uh, magnetic lines pretty much everywhere. And these magnetic lines always interact with each other. They actually uh, even entangle and snap and release a lot of energy. There's a lot of, a lot of compl complex stuff going on there. But for the purpose of this video, we don't really need to know all of this. All we need to know is that it's actually changing and quite fast. And here is that picture that I was going to show you. So in the last five years, the magnetic field, uh, specifically the magnetic north of the planet, has actually moved by a very, very, very large amount. And it's been moving quite fast and it's actually accelerated its speed in the last few decades. Initially, it was moving at a speed of about 20 kilometers uh, per year. And then suddenly it accelerated by about three times. It's moving close to 60 kilometers per year now. And because of these, the US scientists were actually going to announce their um, sort of repositioning of the official North Pole to a new location uh, because it actually kind of beat their expectations. They expected it to be, well, essentially here but it's already uh, way beyond that. It, as a matter of fact, it's moving too fast for them to um, understand what's really happening there. The official meeting was planned for January 15, 2019, but because of the shutdown of the government, uh, that's been the longest in history of the US, they're going to be announcing this on January 30th, hopefully. So essentially now, because I decided to post this video just on that date. Hopefully they've announced it already. And we might discover where the new uh, magnetic North Pole is going to be. But in essence, um, it's going to move away from Canada, where it used to be, to most likely a Russian Siberia. So it's going to be in Russia, or at least in the next uh, few years. Uh, for now, though, it's still sort of in this area right here. Now, that's the first unusual phenomenon. The second phenomenon is right here in the South Atlantic. There's a, a place or I guess an area called South Atlantic Anomaly. For some reason here, the magnetic field has actually been weakening over time. 
and uh, we've even placed a new station to try to measure the magnetic field um, and uh, we've been discovering some somewhat disturbing news that basically the magnetic field there is not as strong as it should be or as it is everywhere else and considering that the north pole is changing the magnetic field here is weakening the scientific community started to speculate that maybe just maybe the magnetic uh, field of our planet is about to flip in other words north will become south south will become north and one of the reasons why they start saying this is because um, we know that magnetic field has actually flipped many, many times in the history of our planet. And um, it basically happens about every 200 to 300,000 years. But the last time it flipped was actually close to about 780,000 years ago. In other words, it's super, super delayed. It's way, way, way past its due. And it should have happened a long time ago. So for these reasons, basically three reasons, um, a lot of scientists started to speculate that maybe just maybe our magnetic field is flipping. And if it is flipping, maybe just maybe we're actually in danger of not having any magnetic field and essentially being completely unprotected um, from all of the solar radiation that might cause damage to our planet and to life on our planet. So that's the assumption and that's what's been in the news. But then, people start really doing the science here. And what they've discovered will actually put your mind to ease. Let's start by saying that, first of all, when magnetic fields flip, it takes thousands of years. It's not going to be an instant flip. It's not a one second it's here, the other second it's there. Second of all, apparently, the unusual uh, positioning of the North Pole is happening because there are two major components inside our planet Specifically, one of them is actually uh, right here around Siberia and one of them is right below Canada that have very, very strong gener generators of magnetic field and they've actually been wrestling with each other trying to basically get the North Pole to themselves. Now, we don't really understand the actual mechanism, but we think that there are two major, major dynamos here basically moving really really fast and these dynamos as they move around um, they try to kind of create the new north pole but the one in siberia has actually been growing in power while the one in canada has actually weakened power a little bit so that's why the north pole is suddenly moving we don't really know what's happening with the south anomaly yet but it's not really that important because apparently it happened before the recent discoveries uh, actually showed us that the anomaly that we now see um, right here somewhere in the South Atlantic, or I guess a much better way of seeing it, would be by going to this version of the planet. The area right here um, has actually experienced uh, very similar effects, or even actually more extreme effects, approximately um, 30,000 years ago. And it ha happened before that as well, and it happened many times. So it's not something that's suddenly happening and no um, magnetic flip actually occurred. So this is something that's naturally occurring in our planet, but it just shows us that we basically have no idea how magnetic field is generated. We know so little about the actual dynamos that are working inside our planet, generating all of this, that uh, we can't make these assumptions that something bad is about to happen. So in, in other words, all of this is actually totally normal. There's no anomalies. It's just something that will happen and it will go away. The last thing here is, now let's say that this is actually the time when the magnetic field is actually flipping. The scientists use various fossils from various ages, um, various uh, times of our planet, and what they've discovered is that whenever the magnetic field flips, basically when north becomes south, nothing happens. As a matter of fact, there has not been any single change of um, atmospheric conditions, uh, there has been no change in oxygen levels, uh, there has even not been any change in the amount of life or any major extinction events associated with the flipping of the magnetic field. In other words, we're totally safe even if it's going to start happening. The only thing that will happen is obviously that the north and south will flip and so we'll basically need to design a bunch of new compasses. That's, that's really it. That's, that's the worst thing that will happen. It's, there's nothing to worry about. It's not going to cause any major disasters. And I guess the best part is that it, it will allow us to understand the inside of our planet much better because now we have something we can study and most importantly, some really cool things we can discover about our planet by maybe making a few assumptions and trying to test them using various uh, scientific theories. 
So all in all, that's really all I wanted to show you in this video because it's actually been in the news and it did kind of make some people question whether the poles are about to flip and how dangerous it might be if that's happening. And for the most part, I just wanted to show you that our planet is super resilient. Even if we have no magnetosphere, the atmosphere of our planet is pretty thick and it's going to protect us for a very, very long time. And so there is very little to worry about, although it is very, very interesting as to what's happening on the inside and why it's causing the North Pole to move and why it's causing the Southern area to become a little bit weaker. But other than that, other than scientific curiosity, there's nothing to worry about. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Hopefully now you know a little bit more about the magnetosphere of our planet and how it's so complex that we basically don't really know how it works. Not a very satisfying answer, but still, that just means that we have so much more to learn about our planet because understanding the magnetosphere is very important for our future and for potentially exploring other planets as well especially if we decide to create um, an artificial magnetosphere on Mars. Without really knowing uh, how it works, we're not going to be able to create anything that will allow us to live here. And so this is one field that is super important to study for the future of the human beings. Anyway, thank you for watching. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. Thank you for all your support and to all the Patreon supporters. I really love all of you. Thank you for all everything you've done for me. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn something you may have not known before and you might discover something that will maybe just maybe blow your mind. Space out and as always, bye bye.